It's a new time, it's a new day and age right now. Right now is the greatest time on the face of the earth to know who you are, according to the Bible. Give me Romans 13 and 11 real quick. You probably wonder what's going on. I'm finna read to you what's going on. Give me Romans 13 and 11. The book of Romans, chapter 13, verse 11. And that, knowing the time. We know the time. Knowing the time what? Let's see. That now it is high time to awake out of sleep. Wait a minute. The Bible is talking to you so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans. The Bible is telling you right now it's high time to wake up out of sleep. What was the vow that we vowed to the Lord? We said, Lord, look. All you have spoken, we would do. We told God that we're going to keep his commandments. We mobilized our brothers to go to Cincinnati, Ohio, where we went to the Black Family Reunion. Three, four, five, six, seven. We just going to play one, two, two, and one. Y'all need to see all out. Y'all got it? Yes, sir. All right, camp one and two. We're going to take you one to set up in. We're going to march down here. We're going to set up camp one. If it say camp one fall out, y'all know the rest. Camp two fall out, y'all know the rest. Understood? Yes, sir! We're here to teach people who do not know the Bible, not people who claim to know the Bible. Man after man, soldier after soldier, line after line. Ezekiel 37 verse 10. A great exceeding army. No fear, no teeth standing firm to change the minds of our people. We're on a mission from God. Brothers went to the Black Family Reunion to change the minds of our people. Fear, desolation. Our older brothers and sisters were fearful, afraid of change. Transformation of the mind, fear, and desolation. They kicked us out. Romans 12 verse 2 teaches us to transform ourselves by the renewing of our minds. Many of our people are afraid of change, afraid of what we can be without the oppressor, afraid of what the scriptures say we must be without our oppressors. Fear, fear sets upon the hearts and minds of our older men, our older sisters. We can be more than we've become in society. We can be more waiting for the second coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. I'm gonna let y'all know that the Bible is talking about y'all. Give me Isaiah 51 and 20. Let me show you that the Bible is a true book because our brothers and sisters are where right now? On the corners, right? Now watch what the Bible say. The book of Isaiah chapter 51 verse 20. Thy sons have fainted. Our sons have fainted. The greatest men on the face of the earth have fainted. Don't feel bad because, hey, we was once in that low state, too. Right. We was once the killers. We right. were once the dope dealers. Right. We were once the vice lord, TDs, blood, scripts. We uh, did all that. We did right. all that. We was once those people. But guess what? We out here now trying to wake y'all up and show y'all it's a better way. Right. We trying to show y'all that y'all the greatest people on the face of the earth. Right. And that rulership belongs to you, black man. Right. 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 We, Thy sons have fainted. We fighting. When you fight, you lose consciousness. We lost, we lost consciousness on that we the kings of the earth. We lost consciousness that King David, King Solomon looked just like us. We lost consciousness well in slavery. But guess what? We come back out now to give you the life. We they lie at the head of all the streets. What is our people at in Cincinnati? Come on. They lie at the head of all the streets. Where are our brothers at in Chicago? They lie at the head of all the streets. What about New Orleans? They lie at the head of all the streets. What about Philadelphia? They lie at the head of all the streets. Our young men are in the head of all the damn streets in America, man. Yes, man. If you go to London, our men are on the corners, man. The Bible is talking about y'all wake up, man. Y'all the kings, man. Read. As a wild bull in the neck. But guess what? As a wild bull in the neck. Because when we was walking over here, we got our own brother trying to do some harm to us. They like a wild bull in the neck. Just ready to pop something off. What do you call a bull in the neck? He's in the what? Trap. So where are we at right now? In the trap. The Bible is talking about y'all. When they told us to leave the black family reunion, we went to where no man or woman desires to go, to the projects, 
A place without hope. A place where the only means our people can get by is through drugs and prostitution. Crime upon crime, sin upon sin. This is the place we went to. One side will be upkept, the other side is dilapidated. No hope amongst our people. Keep hope alive, as they say. And we use the word of the Most High to help our people. Strengthen them, give them hope, give them hope and give them courage so that they can change their lives. Change begins within, and from within they can change the outside. Hope, there is always hope for our people. All praises. of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.